Hello YouTube, how are we all doing? Well today I thought I'd start it off the other week Mello Mick did uh, Strat Week and we all kind of participated in it and I said to him when are you doing Telly Week let me know who said you do it? I went okay so here I am we're gonna do Telly Week so this is uh, I'm gonna instigate this see where it goes um, yeah flash off your telly and uh, you know talk about it play it whatever you want to do you know show it off what's cool and what isn't cool about it and um, yeah, so I'll show you, I'll start with mine, so here they come. So, how did you get in the tellies? I got in the tellies because I wanted a guitar that didn't go out of tune all the time, like a Strat, I only use a Ghost to play a Strat. And I wanted something that's kind of, you know, simple. Two bits of wood nailed together with a bit of strings on, and there's not a lot to go wrong. And so that's what I like about it. And um, there's a few more there. I'll go through them all now. Um, and they got this sound and it's kind of, you know, I've really, really got into them. When I first started playing, I wasn't into them at all. All right, so the first thing, the first one is, this is, uh, I've got nothing special, nothing special at all, like nothing really, you know, oh, that's this one. Just a, you know, this is all average kind of Joe stuff. So this is uh, Mexican, 2007, that one. Uh, these, are the, these are the four I use for the Crow Band all the time. So these four go out, you know, when we do the crow thing and uh, this one i've messed with um put a seymour duncan in there hot rails and we've got a split like zip was did on his one we've got the old split so we can split the coil and i put all that in and that works quite well and that's quite a, yeah, i don't know if them pickups are okay i find them a little bit muddy but then maybe that's me but uh so that's that one so that's the uh the mexican then we've got this one here this one i have in open tuning a special Rick Parfit tuning. Uh, it's just a squire, this one, nothing special. I'm gonna put a sticker on and fucked it right up. So, but uh, yeah, that's nothing special. But I put um, a new bridge on there, I put an ashtray on it, and then I put, that's my secret um, Ironstone Telecaster pickups, which I think sound really good. Um, something about them, they're cheap and cheerful, but they, they sound, I think they sound great. That's me, you might have different opinions. Here we go, next one is, this is the one we built. This is the kick guitar. This was a kick guitar, it's got a shit bridge on it. But it works. This is uh, the spear in open tuning as well. And I'll cut that headstock and I'll nose it up a bit on that corner there. You can see. But it's alright, it's got a big fat neck on it, but I only use it for a couple of songs with the D-tune. As in it's only as the spear. But we did we built this, there's a video on this last year. So that's the one we built, the kick guitar, and we have used that live. And there's a video of me using that live, so there you go. And the next one is, um, this is number one actually. This is the one I use all the time for the for the Crow Band. And that's just a Mexican basic 2004, and I haven't messed with this one. I haven't put any pickups or switching or anything in it. It's just, as it comes, stock. Um, so that's, that's the four Crow guitars. Then as we spin around over here, we've got this one. This is a cool guitar. This is a Wilco Johnson Signature, which I wanted. I bought this from Anderton's Guitars, Anderton's Music Company. Uh, limited run, there was only, I think, 200 or 250 made. And then they run out, and it was gone. I didn't miss my chance. I was like, ah. Oh. And I was looking on their website one day, and they had six more just come in, the last six or something. So I just went, sorry, I'm having it. So I bought one. And it's, that's a nice guitar. I don't play it a lot, because I want to keep it nice. But all the, usually I'm not too precious with guitars. You know, they go out and play and they get banged up and that's fine. It doesn't bother me one little bit. Um, you know, the, the precious guitars you don't play. The ones that, oh, it's really nice and I don't want it to get scratched. They're the ones that don't get played. So these guys all get played. This this, this guitar I bought from Pong Shop. This is a Mexican um, 50s classic. That was a good deal. And it's a lovely guitar. Sounds great, looks great, I mean, it is great. Uh, yeah, that one is my favorite one, which is the cheapo cheapo um, classic vibe I bought off eBay for not a lot of money. And uh, yeah, you've all seen me play that one, that's my favorite one. I like to play all the time. I played that yesterday actually at a little garden party, so uh, that was that. And then this one is uh, I bought this from Anderton's as well. Anderton's Music, um, this is just a, a Cabernet. When the Cabernetas came out, I thought, oh, that's cool, Gritch kind of pickups on there. That's uh, Strat Bridge, Gretsch pickups. And I thought that'd be pretty cool. And it's just a Squire one, and that was cheap on the Anderson second hand section of their website. So I jumped on it and bought that, that was very cheap. So 
Um, like I said, I've got nothing special, nothing like go, woo, you know, that's really cool. And so we come to the one we want, the one we missed out. And what we want is should go on is going onto the uh, the wanted list is this thing. One of them sort of guitars, look. Let's get out of the light, can you see that? No, get it that way, that's better. The old 52 Blackguard, man, that is cool. So that's the kind of telly that I, you know, that I'm lusting after, and I've never really achieved yet. But um, that's on the wanted list with the other two guitars, the, um, the Strat and the Resonator. So there we are, so do a video, chuck it up, doesn't matter what it is, good, bad, ugly, whatever it is doesn't matter so uh, thanks for watching everyone and uh, get into a bit of tele OCD be lucky people <laughs>